What's up, water babies? What's popping? What's going down in the life of a water baby from the 1st to the 15th of February? Are you guys embracing, loving, being vulnerable, moving fast, swift, out on the prize? <laughs> hey, boo, hey, this is your first time on my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, look out, not cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can better assist you without the cussing, <laughs> okay? Because I'm a cuss, all right? Um, if this is your first time, um, actually, well, to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. We don't fight, we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, all right? We share, we grow, we evolve, we love, we enlighten. Y'all, posi vibes only, all right? I know I was not showing my face because it was just so much going on with people in YouTube with their damn <clears throat> interest and energy. But I'm not going to not let that prevent me from actually coming up and showing up, showing up and showing out with you guys. I got my goodies covered. I have to come fully all the way because I got people stealing my damn content right now. So if you want to get the juice on that, please feel free to roll to the community tab and understand why Mocha got time today for the petty petty because if don't nobody understand me who could make time for the petty of the petty, it will be my squad beans, okay? So you guys, this is not a personal, it's just a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. Returning family, what's going on, y'all? We trucking through it. We pushing through all the fucking madness, all these crazy ass energies, and we're unstoppable. And I, I, I really commend you all for your great efforts, y'all. Thank you so much also for liking, sharing, subscribing, you guys. I truly appreciate the love. I'm humble, baby. Thank you so much for riding with me and being loyal with Gang Gang through this whole entire year. Thank you. I truly appreciate you all allowing me to share my light and my love with you. All right. So I'm not going to get into all of that mushy stuff because Scorpio like, Tom, I'm from Mars, but I got somewhere to go. OK, so this will be for my Sun, Moon, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio. You guys, I felt so sensual um, when digging in your energy. I had to make sure that my appearance was popping. I had to make sure that my lips was glossy enough. I had to make sure that my little thick thighs wasn't too thick. You know, just we. I had to work it out just for a second. And so because of that, I'm like, Scorpio, you guys are in some beautiful feminine energy. I want you all to really, really embrace it and use it from a creative place, okay? Um, was there anything else I needed to say? Oh, I also have a Valentine's Day special. My theme is uh, booed up or no. <laughs> so if you want to know if you're going to be booed up for Valentine's Day, I currently have a sale going on. Go check the community tab for that as well. It's $25 for 15 minutes. Um, and it's just uh, simply two questions. Okay, am I going to be booed up? Is my boo going to act right? Am I going to have to kick their ass? I'm going to have to get left. I'm going to have to go find me a new boo. All right? So <laughs> if you need that reading, hit me up. All right? Without further ado, let's ride. <clears throat> We're going to start with the intuitive messages that I got for Scorpio. You guys know I meditate, and in, in the midst of meditating, I actually write down what it is that spirit allows me to receive. So um, take it how it resonates. It may resonate with some of you all. It may not resonate with everybody, but take what does and leave the rest, okay? And you guys, please feel free to comment and let me know, you know, if it does resonate. And also, you guys, if there is something that would, don't do it disrespectfully, because I had to ask Taurus, but I did notice even with Scorpios, um, <clears throat> my views have kind of gone down with the fixed energy with the exception of Aquarius um, and sometimes Leo. So I really want to um, ask you guys, because we family, and I mean, I don't want you to feel like, well, Mocha just always fussing at us. Y'all, I have a very, very, very strong demeanor. I'm an Aries, and I have a Libra rising. So with that said, I'm just straightforward. I don't ever mean to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm never judging, because we family. And I damn sure can't judge, because I'm transparent as fuck. What you want to know, I'll tell you. Okay? So <laughs> with that said, if there's a way that you guys can comment, um, because I don't really be in my feelings about stuff like that. If you can comment in a nice, respectful way and let me know, hey, Mocha, I, I love the channel, but hey, I feel that you could do this. I would really appreciate it because I really want to ensure that we're able to fully, fully, fully connect, you know, without anybody feeling no type of way. If I should be able to, if I could tell you about yourself, you should be able to tell me how you feel, right? It's only fair. We family. Let's get it. All right. So for Scorpios, the intuitive messages that I got for you all was... <clears throat> Ego death, receptivity, rapid 
changes, trust, forgiveness, codependency, revelation, throat chakra, life purpose, telepathy, empathic, protection, divine help, and fortune. All right, Scorpio, get into that man. Scorpio, Scorpio, get into that shaman. You understand? So you guys, please, 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 please embrace the changes. Spirit is intervening in many areas of your life to assist you in growth, evolution, as well as truly being able to embrace your, your, your bestest self, to be honest, your higher self, your more evolved self, and everything and everybody who's not for you. It's just pretty much, it's it pretty much, my folks going to show you who they are. You don't have to force it. So just truly continue being great. Keep your eye on the prize. Make sure that you're only aiming for your target and that's the only thing that you see. Miss the bullshit along the way because you got to expect bullshit. When you want your best shit, you got to expect bullshit. Never forget that, all right? <clears throat> We're going to start off with your Crystal Angel or Picard message from Doreen Virtue. The message that you guys got was Aqua Aura, healthy communication in relationships. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear, assertive communication help you understand and to be understood. So I definitely feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all was not having throat issues. And it's funny because before I started recording this, I when I when I heard the throat chakra, I was like, oh goodness, my baby's having issues with speaking or really being felt. It's a difference to be heard and to be felt. When somebody feels you, what's understood don't have to be explained. It's uh, the, the actions follow. But I have a I have a feeling that you guys are having a strong issue with being heard but not felt. I'm from Mars, so if don't nobody understand. I understand. I'm passionate about the shit I say. Okay. All right. So you guys, the overall um energy underlying energy for the reading is the. Um, the five of diamonds. Some of you all may kind of be in your head. Um, there are changes happening extremely fast, and some of you guys are really just trying to embrace it and just stay focused on the flow, you know. And I feel like during this time, when things are falling out of your life, baby, do not stress yourself. Let them understand that people, things, situationships, they come in our life for a reason in the season. They come in our life to teach us. Okay, so don't look at <clears throat> the negative aspects of the things that you're having to release out of your life only look at how you've grown from them and where that growth is going to assist you and how it's going to assist you in moving forward to your higher purpose all right so let's get it overall energy for the scorpios what is the overall energy for my babies yeah you guys are focusing on stability focus on stability strong family foundations okay um possibly after after some form of um third party situation okay um a lot of you guys have had to find your independence during this time and some of you guys are really feeling as if your works and the seeds that you have uh, have sown are going unnoticed baby let me tell you spirit says no no they have not gone unnoticed they have not gone unnoticed but everybody can't eat at your table okay so worrying about it that's not your part let god do god's job you just actually focus on who you are trying to become. Focus on what it is that you are trying to attain. Focus on where it is that you're trying to go and accept the fact that everybody not going to make the fucking cut. Okay? <clears throat> Spirit, what can my Scorpios expect in love from the 1st to the 15th of February? What can my Scorpios expect? But some of you all is movement forward. Movement forward. Some of you all could definitely be dealing with the sign of cancer. Some of y'all are dealing with earth signs. And if you're dealing with earth signs, you can have an earth sign. Some of y'all are juggling an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, and a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But for some of you all, it's about walking away, walking away from juggling, walking away from partnerships that no longer serve you. For some of you all, you're kind of indecisive on if you want to completely walk away from a marriage and move forward and follow your passions, follow your heart's desires, follow what it is, <coughs> excuse me, follow what it is. That really makes you happy. That really fulfills you. Okay. Uh, for some of you all, some of y'all are really, some of y'all are trusting your intuition, but some of you all are really questioning your intuition because you're ultimately looking at time, how much time has been invested. 
Okay, so some of you all are not releasing. Um, some of you guys are not releasing, possibly an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you or the other person is trying to control the situation, even though intuitively you know that you have to let it go. Um, and it has to do with your growth. You have you and this person, you and this other person are not aligned. And for some of you all, it's about self work, not allowing anyone in your energy when you know that they fucking juggling. And ultimately, Scorpio, if that's what you want. Then spirit is saying, you know, stay where you are. But for some of you all, <clears throat> excuse me, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Virgo. Some of y'all are also dealing with Aries, Leo, Sag. I do see there being a lot of love here. I truly do. But there's a need for seclusion. There's a need for you to go into solitude to really, really, really focus. Because I feel like for some of you all, love have become a distraction. And spirit is saying no more for some of you all this has to do with someone who you have children with and releasing the past a fear of vulnerability after possibly reconciling with someone um and dealing with the third party situation i don't feel like there was any clarity or truth that was had to actually resolve the overall issue so i feel like for some of you all this is the outcome you know indecision on which way to move where do i go some of y'all have an air sign gemini libra aquarius strong emphasis on the gemini um, I feel like this person could be watching your social media. This could be any sign because I strongly feel like somebody is watching you or you're watching someone else. And I feel like it's only to for an excuse to release the person because ultimately, you know, it's time to go, but you don't want to be the bad guy. And so ultimately, some of you guys are choosing to make the decision to not make a damn decision because you don't want to make the wrong decision and you focused on your money. And I don't feel that that's wrong, especially when stability is the focus, you know, pretty much providing that for yourself and not really putting your stability in the hands of other people. But there's definitely going to be a tower moment during this time for some of you all. And the tower moment consists of you actually taking back control of what it is that you expect and what you want out of a relationship. And for a motherfucker who's juggling, and I feel that some of you all, you're finding this out through social media. Some of y'all could also be receiving texts from some damn body from like the other per the your person's person. And it's only a catalytic situation to assist you in releasing and walking away. And I feel like this is a force change by the universe to move you forward on your path because you've kind of been stuck in that place for so long, kind of being fixed in your ways of loyalty, you know. And I gotta un I understand that because again, I'm from Mars. But at the end of the day, is that what you want? Is that the legacy that you're trying to build? It, does that have to do with what they, with their actions? Does that have to do with what fulfills you? It's not selfish to put you first. It's never selfish to put you first. Remember that, okay? <clears throat> Spirit, why is the justice card here? For those of you who are dealing with legal matters with justice being here in upright, I definitely feel that your, that your legalities will go in your favor. But some of you all, you could be hearing about the things moving forward legally, well, regarding the legalities around the second week of February. Some of you guys could definitely be hearing something uh, regarding the court system, child support, divorces, things of that nature. I am also seeing that for those of you who was waiting on some type of money or some type of a uh, settlement of some sort, the second week to the third week of February looks damn good. I feel that something, I'm hearing the number three, so it may be actually cleared out or in total, pretty much completed, completely done with you closing everything out in the month of March, but you will see movement about the second week of February. I'm also hearing that goes for unemployment as well for someone. Um, <clears throat> yeah, some of you guys are, some of y'all have a telepathic connection to someone, and I feel like for some of you all, you're having a hard time with releasing this person's energy during this time. Your energy is very, very, very sensitive, so definitely be protecting of your energy take your spiritual baths take your breaks take that take those moments of solitude to actually keep your head your your emotional mental spiritual and physical space intact okay why is it just as hard here spirit yeah some of you all are res resisting change okay so for some of you all, you have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Rego. This person wants to renew the love with you. And I feel like the ultimate decision is in your favor because, again, this is about self-worth. This could be someone who you have a child with. For some of you all, I'm going to go ahead and go that spirit is saying some of y'all are questioning the paternity of your children, possibly with an earth sign or a water sign. And I feel like you can't really have that that 
that you can't really trust the situation until you truly know the truth because that doubt is still lingering there. As well as some of you all are having issues with letting something go uh, with that someone did to you in the past because they won't take accountability for their actions. And for some of you all, if there's a need to release and forgive. Why is the dick card here? Some of y'all are walking away from a Gemini and moving towards the uh, fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you all, you've been trying to put the work in, possibly with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like for some of you all, you're just walking away during this time. Even though there is a lot of passion in the situation, it's not a lot of it's love there, but it's not a lot of trust there. You know, and I feel like for some of you all. You really want to move towards your wildest dreams. You really want to move towards the ultimate fulfillment. This will be um, with this wild card, like my emperor is my emperor. This will be the top suit. So I definitely feel like you're doing someone, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is someone who you could actually have everything with. This person actually holds all of your desires. <clears throat> and for some of you all, you have to make a decision between two soulmates, possibly a water sign, um, as well as an um, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Why is the Empress card here? Some of you guys, some of y'all could have a Virgo in your energy. This could be Libra, Taurus, Pisces. Okay, I feel like there is a lot of love here. This is a past life relationship. This could also be Aries, Taurus, but I feel like someone doesn't want to open up and be vulnerable. And in order for you to get your desired outcome, you're going to have to open up and not fear that vulnerability, baby. <clears throat> yeah. And again, some of you guys already know intuitively what it is that you need to do, but you're making the decision to hold on to someone who is not supposed to be in your energy, okay? And some of you guys are dealing with an air sign that's, that's completely fucking controlling. They're emotionally manipulative. Some of y'all have been trying to get out and let this relationship go because you ultimately recognize that it's fucking toxic and not for you. However, this person has a fear of um, being by themselves. That is the underlying issue. And Scorpio, I feel like you see clean through this person. Like you see right through their bullshit. And it pisses you off. I feel like somebody is really trying to insult your intelligence to a sense. And a part of you think it's funny, but a part of you really are tired of that shit. And, you know, you are you can't tell a person what to do. But you, Spirit says, when you're tired, you're tired. All right? Stop resisting the change, trying to hold on to a situation that's not worth being kept. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here, Spirit? Why is the Empress here? Okay, that wasn't. Why is the Empress card here? Yeah, for some of you all, it has to do with moving forward, moving forward and creating what it is, cre recreating your world, all right? It's about literally manifesting everything that you want. You've been doing that very rapidly. Things are moving for you particularly very fast. And some of your partners may have this stuck feeling. The reason why they're stuck and that stagnancy is there because spirit is trying to keep things that way for you to make a decision. Self-worth, self-value. These are not my fucking problems. This is not my part. I know when it's two tears in the bucket, baby. Fuck it. You got to know when it's time to say fuck it. Okay. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here for my beautiful scorpions? Why is the tower here? Two fell out. I'm going to take it. Yeah. For some of you all, this damn king of pentacles, for some of you all, okay, you have, for some of y'all, you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo person. And I feel like either you or this other person is indecisive, choosing not to make a decision to move towards commitment because you don't trust the situation. You or this other person is very emotionally controlled. And for some of you all, you have um, earth sign in your energy. And I feel like with this person, this person feels as if they can't move on. They feel as if they can't go forward without you. They feel as if you are their wish and they don't want to let go. And it has to do with this fear of, uh, they have abandonment issues, whomever this is. All right. For some of you all, this is a water sign. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all definitely are going to have to get a paternity test. I'm going to go and say it because spirit is truly pressing for my Scorpio men. <clears throat> Damn it, I'm going to take it. Yeah. But some of you all, you have this person holding on to you. Okay. But spirit is moving you towards newness. So some of y'all are holding on to also job and work situations. And spirit is trying to give you a new. You're not releasing yourself from that place that doesn't that doesn't fulfill you. You're not releasing yourself. And ultimately, the ultimate outcome is a brand new beginning after moving forward. So get out of your head. Get out of your feels. 
about things that you're trying to control that are just not working for you. We're trying to hold on to people who not work who not worthy worthy of being kept. But some of you all, you're resisting um, possibly walking away from a Sagittarius, or you're resisting a Sagittarius person, letting them in, walking away from your past, and actually letting this person in and being vulnerable with this person, or walking away from circumstances or the fear of the past of someone hurting you and spirit is saying you don't have to live in that fear with this new person and who they're trying to actually guide you to but some of you all look to renewal from, with someone from your past that you could have walked away from but it's going to take you releasing toxic energy okay so that's what i have for my babies the scorpios um between the first and the 15th of february if you need a personal reading that information can be found again within the description y'all i love y'all so very much much love much light many blessings and namaste baby Mm. Bye, y'all.